Today, we are going to liquor hunt in Austin, Texas. We didn't get in the freaking door, man. Good sign when you don't even get in the door and you found good whiskey. How firm are we on those prices? You tell me what you have in your mind. How about that old rip and that light beef, the Rock Hill Farms, and that Russell's 13 for two grand? Today, we are going to liquor hunt in Austin, Texas. Now, I've been through Austin, Texas a few times. I found a few bottles here, but I have not filmed it. I wanted to make this video for quite some time, and I just happened to be in Austin, Texas this week to do a barrel pick with Steel Austin. Now, we got Brandon, our semi-local tour guide, but realistically, all the liquor stores we're going to today are ones that patrons submitted. So y'all submitted six different stores in and around the Austin area. The first one we're at, is Chris's Liquor. We're in Austin proper. There should be absolutely no accusations today of you're not in Austin. Every one of these, you're not in Orlando. You're not in Detroit. We're in Austin proper. We're gonna brave the traffic. We're gonna deal with all that has to offer, all the craziness that is Austin, Texas. We're gonna go see what Chris's Liquor has. Ooh, fancy stuff over here. Oh, look at there. Right off the bat, we got a Woodford Double Oak pick and an Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Strength. Have you ever had a Woodford Double Oak pick? I had a Double Oak, I had a different one. Have you had just general Double Oak? Okay, so. that's a good bottle. Old Forster King Ranch down here. Tons of these. I know a lot of folks back home want those. Baker 7, Remesis, New Riffs, Russell's Reserve. Private barrel right there. Again, just bought one of these. Another good bottle though. We just finished off my double oaked at home, so I'm gonna take that barrel pick right there. Rebel 10 right here. Some Peerless down there. What is that, double oaked Peerless? Got some of those at the house already. We didn't get in the freaking door, man. Good sign when you don't even get in the door and you found good whiskey. What do you see, anything interesting over there? More of that double oaked? Dude, if you like that, that old Forster stuff's fantastic. That's a good bottle. Ooh, look at here. Weller Special Reserve. You need some of that, seriously. Mm. The price is decent. Here, you want this one? No, six a little. Man, I tell you what, I'm liking bourbon hunting in Austin already that we can't even get in the door. What is your price on this Weller Special Reserve right here? 39. 39 bucks? Pushing it. This one's $79. I'm probably gonna put mine back at $79, but I think you should buy that one. I've got one of those I think still I haven't opened or at least got a bunch in it. Anything interesting hiding in here we need to find? Good cigar room on the top shelf. Got some good stuff out. Cream of Kentucky Bonded. Garrison Brothers Balmoria, which sounds like something you get if you have some bad tacos. Guadalupe, what's going on? I don't even know what Guadalupe is. Port wine finished. Guadalupe's a river here. I mean, I know it's the river here, but I don't know what the whiskey is. Cowboy's the one I've had that I liked from them. It's a little pricey. Cigar blend. This is gonna be an expensive bottle hunt right here. We're gonna, we're gonna check that out right there. I mean, you can grab it, I'll hold it. So that is a blend of finished whiskey, super high proof, delicious freaking bottle though. I love every one of those I've owned. Willet four year rye up there, four gates. Takaji finished Penelope. I might need to try this because I did have some Takaji stuff I really liked. I don't, not a huge fan of like Mizanara. I mean, it's okay, Mizanara's okay. Definitely don't like Amberana, but these might be worth, oh. Steel too, look at here, what we got? Ted's bourbon flavored cigars. Thought those were my Gurkhas right there. My Gurkha, Rana Boyla Gurkhas. Glen Fittich Grand Cru. All sorts of fancy stuff up there. I have no idea what it is. What's your price on that uh, cigar blend right there, Magnus? 250. I mean, that's that's about what they go for. They, they do have some Weller over there if you want yeah. some. Oh, I just stocked up. You just stocked up on Weller. Sam, Sam's also gonna join us on this hunt, but he's always late everywhere. So every store we go to, he'll show up halfway through. All right, what you got on the 13 in the single Rick house? Single $13 is $300. I mean, as far as markups go, your markups are probably good because they're right there where it's tempting. We try, honestly, it's, just, it's so hard to get this stuff. It's no, I get it. Get I'm not hating. I'm just trying to determine how expensive it's going to be for me, you know? We got five more stores. So, like, do I go all out? You got a Woodford? What is that? Uh, that's the, the triple, triple finish. I, I don't know what that is. We just got this one yesterday. Triple finished Woodford. So, finished in wine and brandy barrels. I'm probably going to pass on that. All right, so I'm going to pass on the cigar blend because I have that. I don't have a single Rick House. I've never had a single Rick House. I don't think the single Rick House is worth the price. We got a budget. We're going to blow it at the first store. We ain't even got to the freaking bourbon selection. We haven't even made it over here to where they have the whiskeys. Let's go check those out. Lukenbach Road, some Treaty Oaks, tons of rabbit holes, more Sagamores. Still rocking those Halloween bottles from last year. Well, here's your Woodford stuff over here. That's just like the standard the Woodford, standard yeah. So I have that in this green one. Yeah, the rye. Yeah. Good bottles, They're not my favorites. I, I like the limited stuff usually really, like really like the limited stuff from Woodford and then the double oak. The rest of this, it's just, it's just good. It's just not what I'm looking for most of the time. I'm looking for something 
a little a little elevated from that. Good selection. Am I buying for three hundred dollars? Am I buying a Russell's Reserve Thirteen? I say do it. Of course you say do it. It's not his money. Why would he not say do it? You know, single Rick House or Russell's Thirteen. Y'all let me know in the comments which one you would have bought. The problem is, is I have a Thirteen. I normally index on something I don't have, but that single Rick House I think is two hundred. So it's really expensive MSRP. I, I don't know exactly what it is. So what what are you looking for? Hit list for the wife is Fortaleza. So okay. looking, for, looking for some tequila. You'll know it because there's a trimmed agave heart. Stop it. Okay. Now, they had some limited stuff in there on top of the cigar thing. I don't know what it was, but uh, I mean, I'll be surprised if it were there. It's okay. not overly expensive. It's just hard to come by. And then some uh, items for cocktails that are hard to find. Some of your uh, produced by monks type of situation. Okay. Monks produce good stuff. Yeah. Chartreuse. Okay. We're going we're gonna to... We're gonna keep the budget. I'm just going with the double O. That's all I'm getting. Just five more stores, people. That's what sucks about the first one. The first store always it's just a lot of money and I don't I don't need the bottles. We got barrel strength, single barrel, freaking four roses up here on the counter too. E. H. Taylor right here. So, I was looking at that. Oh, he's E. H. Yeah, E. H. Taylor. I didn't even see him. That's where that's how much crap they got going on is I don't even see E. H. Taylor sitting here wrapped up with a Pike or a Rossville Union for $150 and then an Eagle Rare with a Remus for $150 back there. You getting that Weller right there? Yes, sir. Yeah, a little bitty baby Weller over there. I'm not, I've never seen one of those little bitty baby Wellers right there. It's small. It's the, that's the 375. I'm going to be good. I'm just, I'm just buying this wood for double oak. I'm going to sure? be, it's going to be difficult. It takes a lot of discipline to be me, but this okay. is the first store of six. Right. 75, 72. So I saw you looking at that old Forester. That's probably my that's favorite. That's a good one. one. That's a good one. It's, I, I just have, I come across a lot of those lately. Yeah. You know, like one of those things. Open bottles, you can judge for yourself where it, where you got an open bottle of that? I do. All right, let's try it. We're going to try it. All right. I watch all your stuff on Really? Yeah. TJ. Nice to see you, TJ. Oh, we're going to get a little sample of this old yeah. Forester single barrel barrel. You want to try this single barrel barrel proof over yeah, Forester? Sure. Proof is. 132.3. That's where you want it. Oh, that is so good. So what other stores should I go to? We asked Patron, we asked the live stream, we got six recommendations. The Oak Liquor Cabinet. Okay. Oak Liquor Cabinet's pretty cool. Like that. I think that's on the I think that's on the list. Yeah, it's up yeah. north. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then also Deb's Deb's Liquor. Okay. That one's really badass. We just went there. They let us try um, Elijah Craig barrel proof that they're doing there. All right. And they still had it in like the little. I guess like it's like a promo bottle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They still had it there. Deb's. All right. I don't know if that's on the list or not. I'll check it out though. Sometimes the smallest changes make the biggest impact, and Trade Coffee is a great addition to your New Year routine. And I want to tell you all about what I got from them this month. But first, let's talk about the service. Trade Coffee is a subscription service that helps me make better coffee at home. They source from over 55 local roasters and curate my coffee just for me and my taste using art and science, which means I don't have to make any decisions whatsoever. Every month a new coffee just appears on my doorstep in that classy red bag, and I know for sure it's fresh because they roast all their coffee just 48 hours before they ship it. And this month I got this bag of farm to cup Alma coffee from the mountains of Honduras. You know I love my small craft distilleries when it comes to whiskey, and this is the same with my coffee. This Soulmate medium roast from Alma has tasting notes of bold milk, chocolate, clementines, and candied walnuts. I don't think my palate is sophisticated enough to pick up all of that on coffee just yet, but I like it and that's what's important. Trade has free shipping, customizable plans, and anytime cancellation. With that kind of flexibility in a subscription plan, there really is no hassle to give it a try. And best of all, right now Trade's offering the B Team a free bag of roasted to order coffee with select subscription purchases. Just click the link in the description to get started. Now I'm gonna get back to my coffee while you get back to that video. Stop number two, South Lamar Wine and Spirits. South Lamar Wine and Spirits, let's check it out. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, sir? Ah, not too bad. You got the Jimmy Reds. Is that what somebody told me to get? Like, I get so many recommendations, I can't remember. We're gonna start writing this crap down. Old Granddad Bonded right there, right? Hunter Proof. Old Granddad, oh. The Bonded, yeah, those are hard to find. That one I sent you picture of. Oh, the whistle, the whistle pig, Alfa Romeo. I don't think putting a car logo on the front of it makes it taste any better, but maybe that's just me. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Juke joint, uncut, unfiltered. We need to do a pick with them. I have five of those open because we keep buying them, we keep trying them. Y'all let me know if we should do a pick with Blue Note. I want to say they were at the, the Bourbon Junkies thing in Michigan. I think they take beer and they age it in a bourbon barrel and then they take whiskey and age it in that barrel or something. I, Andalusia? Single malt, single malt, single malt. That makes it easy for me to say nope. All of these are Texas. I think these are all within, like, 
except for the new riff in the mixer. Okay. Kind of local. So the last place had all the allocated stuff in the world and very little allocated stuff here. Private Barrel Maker's Mark right there. So we're gonna get all the way through this bourbon hunt. I'm gonna wish I'd have bought that Russell's 13, bunch of old Forester stuff here. What's the new one? There's a new one that just came out and I wouldn't know it if I saw it. There's a new year that just came out and I have no freaking clue what it is. They just got it hiding up. It's floor whiskey. It is freaking, it's floor whiskey. What's your price on those Wellers? MSRP, good price. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think they're like uh, a little over 20 some bucks. Okay. Um, you got ripped good. off at the last place. So Buffalo Trace and MSRP. You don't have to put it back. You can There's a big old buff. You just want this one? <laughs> Hold it up like you're proud of it. We're gonna work on the framing. There you go. So if it's MSRP, this is what I'm getting. It is hard to pass up one of these at MSRP, it really is. That big weller was $59, um, as opposed to what, 70 something at the last place. South Lamar Wine and Spirits, good price. And all the allocated stuff is just sitting on the floor. Stop number three, A and B Liquors. Hey, how's it going? Ooh, got the Rick Russell's 13 sitting up there. Twice barrel special release Jack Daniels. Is that, that's the rye? Yeah, it's, it's rye, all right. What are your prices on the Russell's 13, the twice barreled and the kosher rye? We're gonna go look. What are y'all looking for? I'm just always looking for something interesting. I'm a bourbon guy, so that's that's well, normally what I'm looking for. Okay, which I think I just got that. Is that chapter seven, I think it is? I got one of those when I was up in, whatever the latest chapter is, it's probably gonna be the same. Got one of those signed by Fred and Freddie No. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I got a Buffalo Trace uh, kosher. I saw that when I was, I was asking that, the Twice Barreled and the Russell's 13. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's your price on that? The Russell's is, three, I think, about three ninety nine. Yeah, three ninety nine plus tax. Okay. Uh, and what about the kosher? Kosher is $99. Okay. $99. All right, so we're talking about 130 on a Taylor small batch, 79 on Eagle Rare. Have you got into the old elk yet at all? Or? Uh, I have several old elks. We've had quite a few folks ask us to do a barrel pick with them or do something with old elk. I'm sure we'll get in touch with them at some point. Now, I do have one bottle of the single barrel Buffalo Trace uh, store select. So you have a Buffalo Trace store pick? Yep. Okay. I have one bottle of it, and that's 35 99 we're doing it at the same price. Yeah, it's not a bad price for a store pick. A little bit of a markup for a store pick is worth it. A lot of those Buffalo Trace, I just opened a Buffalo Trace store pick I didn't like. Probably the first one I've ever opened that I didn't, that wasn't better than Buffalo Trace to me. Really? Wow. Yeah, it was just a little too oaky. Oh, like they just, okay. you know, it's single barrel. You never, you know, right, sometimes right. they just pick them to their palate and it's not my palate, right? right? What is this? It's the, the McLaren. Um, so it's a McLaren Jack Daniels? Yeah. Fancy one with a box there. So same whiskey, just a McLaren label. Yep. Baker's 13 right there. Yeah, I just got a, that in today as well. I got a couple of those when I was in Kentucky. Good good pour though. Uh, store pick Buffalo Trace, y'all interested? I just left the last place with some Buffalo Trace. Yeah, you did, but it's yeah. not a store pick. Yeah, we did just buy some Buffalo Trace at the last, I think every, I think everybody in town got Weller Special Reserve and Buffalo Trace today. You didn't get one? You want a store pick? You know what a store pick is? Okay, store pick is where, and we get this question a lot. Store pick is where a store is going to go to Buffalo Trace, or they may send samples, whatever, and they let you sample a bunch of different barrels. So normal Buffalo Trace is a small batch. They're gonna blend, I mean, it's a big small batch, I'm sure, at Buffalo Trace. They're gonna blend a bunch of them so that when you get one two years from now, it's gonna taste almost the same as one you get now. Store pick is a single barrel. So they picked one of those barrels that would have been used for blending, or maybe it's exceptional and they, they's like, this is too good to blend. And then a store can try those and buy the entire barrel. So it'll be a little off profile from a normal Buffalo Trace typically, or anything, like any, any store pick. Um, so anytime you find a store pick of something and the normal expression, it's worth getting them both to compare them and then, you know, kind of build your taste profiles and see the differences in them. And it's so loved, you can't ever get it again and you're all bummed out. Is it, is it better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all? Yeah, a lot of times you're rolling the dice and it ends up being something you don't love. Like I got a 1792 store pick from Total Wine, it's garbage. It's, it's a $35 bottle. How many dates have you wasted $35 on that were not even worth your time? All but one. All but one. <laughs> <laughs> Only one bottle left, if you want it, 35 bucks. I mean, that's that's uh, probably, what, a $10 markup on Buffalo Trace? I, I would do that for a store pick. Well, I mean, a single barrel usually runs about 50 bucks for a single barrel. Usually is an interesting term. All right, well, I think we're just gonna get that Buffalo Trace. I mean, those are tempting, but that's a little more than I wanna spend today, so. Right, flavored some... White Claw vodka. What is this? Oh, White Claw vodka. Did you know that this was a thing? I've never seen that, no. That's what the world needs, man. White Claw. Ain't no laws when you're drinking claws, baby. So if I wasn't going to pay $300 for Russell's 13, definitely not tempted to pay $400 for it. 
less than an hour later. That is store number three. Uh, some good stuff. Like we're finding a lot of good bottles. A little too much markup for me on those. So let's hit store number four, see what we find. Store number four, uh, Galaxy Liquors. What do you think about the store suggestions so far? They've been good so far. Um, they're starting to become a little more bougie areas. So you think folks just pick the uh, the hot areas? I don't know. That last quarter, I washed a drug deal. Now you're the only person that has bought at every single store. So you're, uh, we're gonna find you something at every store. Got an Eagle Rare hiding up there. Hey, how's it going? Man, got a whole selection of stuff back there. Well, welcome to Galaxy, my friend. That's why we give the name Galaxy. Rock Hill Farm sitting up there. Mm -hmm. Elmer T. Yeah, the like van. Yeah, you guys really into that like, allocation? Yes, sir, I have it. I have a uh, Russell 13, of course. Well, have we ever heard from Joe's Tag? Yeah, of course. I have that. Uh, Valor 12, of course. I'm like Antique Moto 7, just if you're really into it. So we got the Russell 13 for three, 279 yeah, okay. on the Stag, 250 on the 107. Okay. Let's look at the normal selection over here first. Let me cool down a little bit. Bell Mead Reserve right there. Seeing those less and less. The lights in here are giving me an epileptic seizure. A little uh, flickering. Looks like all the good stuff's up behind the bar there. We're just talking about Pache, little bar in Austin. Okay. They did a uh, barrel select of the Weller 107. We're thinking about getting a little thirsty. We want to try it. Let's do it. For 250 I can't I can't do that. Like My price is 100 on that. There's so many. I didn't even see the Blanton's Gold, the Hancock Reserve. How firm are we on those prices? I sure going to work with you guys. If okay. you are really into buy, like for example, of course, Pepe, I sure will work with you. Obviously, if I have a a person who really want to buy it. I'm not stubborn about these prices. because it's very on demand. Price-wise, it's make me feel better if I work with them. If, okay. if it's a fair numbers. Uh-huh. How much How much work we got? You tell me what you have in your mind. I'm looking for an E.H. Taylor. There's one right there, $89. That's the only one where I'm like, at markup, I might actually do it there. If we're just negotiating, typically uh -huh. like secondary price, like I could go right now and I could get that old rip in that lot B for Eight hundred dollars a piece on the secondary market. Like I, I wouldn't buy them at eight hundred. I could buy them every day for eight hundred. But then we're probably getting way too low for you already, right? Because you'll sell them at that price eventually. TJ, if you think eight hundred each, sold. How about those two, the Rock Hill Farms and that Russell's thirteen for two grand? Too tight. But, too tight. But if you want, if you can do this, two of these. And this one, I'm gonna do one of these. Eagle Ray. I know, you can find it easy. Throw in the 107 for my friend instead of the Eagle Ray. Like, I can buy those 107s for $100 all day, every day. I can have a case of them in my house for $100. I mean, even then, I'm paying $300 for a Rock Hill Farms at $250 is my limit. Okay, two, one, and... And a 107. And 107. Okay, go for two grand. Go for it. Okay. You prove your point as a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> this dude totally just ripped me off for these bottles and he's trying to make me feel good about it. That's good sales right there. Man just took my bourbon budget for the next five hunting videos. I can do better than that, but it's okay. I like to be on YouTube sometimes, but here I am. There you go. He's going to be on YouTube. And listen, before y'all give me crap, I wouldn't normally pay that for these, but I need those two Van Winkles there for an event we're trying to do. That's for you. You got a bottle for, you just, You didn't get anything here, so you've still got every, something at every single store right there. I mean, we, we did get over $1,000 off on those, but still probably immediate buyer's remorse. If I didn't have the event, like the event's still in early planning phases, but I wanted to do some Van Winkles for the event. I have one ripped tent at the house. I needed another one, and then I need two lot B, so that's one. Like, those rank top 10 on the most I've ever spent for a bottle of whiskey, and I did it so casually. What do you think? You think I overdid it? Ask me again at the next one. Uh. Yeah, losers, we're going bourbon shopping. <laughs> Here we are, the next stop, the Austin Shaker. Ooh, got more Old Forster single barrel barrel proofs over there. Sheep dip, blended malts, scotch whiskey. Another Boss Hog. It looks like 574 they've got that for. 674. Oh, lower. We've entered Bougie Austin. Oh, so we're in the, it gets more expensive in yeah. Bougie Austin. You need a rye. That's what I'm missing. You need a rye? That mixer's just... That's what we had. Yeah, well, no, we had a mixer's toasted. The rye we had was, a, we had an E.H. Taylor rye That's there. Right. Old Forester, 100 proof rye down there. Is a, a, I like that Jack single barrel, barrel proof rye. Wild Turkey 101 rye, another good one down there. We got all sorts of swanky things up top over here. I don't know what those things are. There's a Highland Park 25 and 30 compass box in a weird box. $35 for a Bowman Brothers. Just got a sample of these Middle West Spirits Sherry Cash Finished Bourbon. Freaking delicious. Like, I, I've asked if they can do barrel picks of that, I'm gonna take one. All right, as always, y'all let me know what I should have bought and then give me crap about what I did buy. Well, there's special reserve everywhere. That's the cheapest we've seen that. $45, I think it was even, what was the last 50? He said it was MSRP. I think it might've been 50 with tax. Apparently Texas is the land of Weller, at least 
special reserve. Took you out batch 11 up there. I want it, I just don't wanna pay for it. Definitely not today, definitely not today. Nice selection of benchmarks down there. Jack Daniels 27 gold. What are the Jim Bean orange label? Some sort of championship. What are we pivoting? Smooth and sweet. Smooth and sweet. Well, I mean, you've already got Weller. Is that about smooth and sweet? Oh, that's about as smooth and sweet as you're gonna get there for that, that green label Weller. I mean, if you wanted something different, these Bowman brothers here are also made by Buffalo Trace and they're redistilled in Virginia. All right, y'all done here? We'll go hit the last door and see what we find. We're at the sixth door and this is Oak Liquor Cabinet. Now the first five were like right in downtown Austin. This is North Austin. This is definitely not Austin proper. We are definitely in the burb, but we started in Austin. So you can't give me crap about that. Let's go check it out, see what we get. All right, how about yourself? Oh man, got a ton of four gates back there. Y'all been collecting all the four gates? Is that what you're doing? We did a pick too. Oh, so you did your own four gate. We need our own four gate pick. It's seven year four roses and a toasted cast. What's the price on that? Two nineteen. We're way over budget already. <laughs> That's the problem. We bought Van Winkle at the last place. That that that, that put us oh, over nice. budget. What'd you buy for? We ended up giving eight hundred a piece for them. It's full secondary. Yeah, it's full that secondary. Is. Yeah. That's the unfortunate I know. thing around here. Hello. There's a lot of independent stores. They're charging. Uh, basically secondary. Well, he had them marked up pretty good higher than that, so I at least felt good winning the negotiation. I lost the negotiation, I know, I know, I lost it. King Ranch everywhere in Austin. Yeah, that's pretty easy to find here. I think it, I think it may have only been released in Texas, though. Yeah, it's a Texas only. Yeah. All from out of town. I'm from Alabama, he's local. You got some Yellowstone, the 2023 still. The limited release. I really enjoyed this Amburana, Amburana from Arizona. Yeah, I have that. I'm not an Amburana fan. As far as Amburana goes, I think the barrel's the best one. I think like, so too. I like it better than the Rio. I thought the Rio was a little heavy handed. Yeah, it's with it, and you got all that sweetness on it too, right? If you like Amberana, give that one a try. It's much more subtle. What's your price on that Yellowstone? 100 bucks. That's not bad. I don't think I've drank the last one I bought though. That one's interesting. It's in a Tokai cast. I call it Takaji because that's how it's spelled because I refuse to pronounce right. things correctly. <laughs> but if you want me to say them right, spell them right. Yeah, I got checked on it the other day. I'm definitely gonna take a couple of, you grab you one, I'm gonna take a couple of those. What about that Belfour stuff? I never had a Belfour, what do you think about that? I kinda like them, they're doing all their own distillate, it's all their own mash bills, they're okay. not sourcing anything. They score the interior, which is kind of interesting. Because most okay. of their stuff is super, super young. So it's like grooved interior? Exactly, so the color on that for 42 months is ridiculous. In uh, Kentucky? North Carolina. North Carolina? Just put out that smoke wagon. Last week, we got a Lucky 7 French Oak up there, way at the back. We got that Starlight, that's still relatively new too. Oh, you got a Double Oak. Double Oak. Double Oak Starlight's right there. Right. We uh, we just did a, like three barrel picks with them. Although they were delicious, I'm Starlighted out. We got the VDN, the Rum Agrigold, their bourbon, and then we bought the six year Venezuelan rolled and fork rum finished in Weller barrels. If y'all didn't get one of those rums, you missed out. Dude, they have got cases of Woodford Batch Proof Master Distillers Collection there. That's the Bell Four. It's a 70% rye, 21 corn, nine barley. So this is a rye? It is a rye. Okay. They do a couple different things. They do uh, season to season. They'll do a rye one season, a bourbon the next season. It's good. It's definitely got a little like sharpy note to it. Some high rye bourbons will get it too. Probably the groove barrel. All right, give me these bourbon stouts right here. All right, appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you. You. So we were headed out the door, and Raj, this is your store? Yes, sir. He caught us on the way out filming the end of this video. We're going to interrupt the end of this video to sample some fine whiskeys. Maker's Mark cellar aged right here. So Maker's Mark aged their whiskey like they normally do. And then they took it and put it for, I think, a couple of years in a dungeon, in some sort of cellar, uh, dungeon. Sounds the same. Sounds like the same thing to me. Cave. I don't know. They put it in some sort of climate where it does not get a lot of weather. And this is what we're tasting here. So this is probably the best maker's mark that's ever been made. Oh, that's good. Dollar a day, we get one dollar, we don't sell it, we share. That's a good principle right there. I respect that. People love it, you know? Are you trying the cellar age too? What do you think? That's so good. Is it the best maker's mark ever made? Now you still gotta like makers though. It is still very much makers. So if you don't like makers, this is not gonna make you decide to start liking makers. But if you do like makers, you could love this for sure. Y'all been drinking that one hard. <laughs> We've had it open probably about a month now. I used to have all my shawl for the retail collections. I have open bottles in my cabinet. Anything you want to, I want to buy. Come on, you have a sample for me. And of course, nobody has samples of BTAC anymore because they're they're too pricey, but. No, if I saw 2019, my full anniversary, I opened 15 year rental. 20 tastings, 
for each year, and every tasting I have an enjoyable bottle. I know this is the season for BTACs and Van Winkles. Have they, they hit shelves yet, or are you still waiting on them? We're waiting on No okay. hope, though, this year. No hope? I, mean, it's I think it's tough for everybody, though, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're focusing on more single barrel store picks. How many barrels do you buy in a year, just period, like single I barrels? Think this year we bought maybe over 30. 30 this year? Maybe more. Do you think bourbon's in a bubble? Do you think the bubble's going to pop? You think it's going to continue to go like this? Yeah, tequila categories taking a little bit uh, more business from bourbon, so bourbon's still really strong. So you think tequila's the next one to go crazy? Yeah, or you we see already. Already? That's what Sam's been looking for all day. Yeah, we've been looking for a particular tequila. Well, I appreciate it, man. It's a nice store. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Thank, you. Thank you. They had those refrigerated so we could drink them sooner. <laughs> we, <laughs> we already bought them. It's okay. We'll refrigerate them later. Oh, what's Sam Adam Utopia? I need the Utopia. You need them? I need a Sam Adam. You got one? I got it. Okay, if you got it, I'll take it. What's your price on it? I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take it. That's about, that's about MSRP. This is for a review. This is for a video. We, we had two beers we were looking for for a video and this was one of them so what do you think oh i haven't tried it yet That's i don't know does it right. need to be cold should we make it cold i gotta film a video on that let's see what this thing looks like what in the world got like a little porthole here that is nuts 28 percent alcohol by volume aged in barrels of some sorts illegal in 15 states proud enough to put it on the box right there but i think realistically a lot of states like those goose islands have been illegal in a lot of states because they were over 14 percent like oklahoma for example you can't sell beer over Three or something? Yeah, 3.2, something like that. Almost guaranteed to be awful. Like, almost guaranteed to be awful. There's some really old beer in there. Really, really old That's beer. It. I hope it's good, because I just paid $260 for it. I, I think it'd be surprised. All right, so we will not be trying these on the next live stream, unfortunately, because I'm holding those for an event, and I'm going to probably shoot this one as soon as I get back to the house. Had a good time. Appreciate Brandon. Hanging out with he's hiding from the camera over here. Appreciate him hanging out and being our tour guide, driving us around. Overall, successful day in Austin. Even that guy, you can see his face when I told him what I paid for those Van Winkles. Disappointment. I know. I don't. I know. Do me a favor. Spam bottle kill down in the chat. Let me know you watched all the way to the end, and uh, and give me a, just a little bit of heck about the price. I don't like the price. So Y'all give me a little bit of heck about the price. I would do the same to you. I would give you hell about paying that price for a bottle of Van Winkle. But all done now. We'll catch y'all in the next one.